Planet Earth, our home in the vast cosmic ocean, is a world of paradoxes, ancient yet ever-changing, fragile yet resilient, familiar yet mysterious. It is the only known planet to harbor life, a blue jewel suspended in the darkness of space, wrapped in a thin veil of atmosphere and cloaked in the rhythms of tectonics, climate, and biology. For millennia, humanity has gazed at the heavens, seeking meaning and companionship among the stars, yet Earth remains the most profound mystery of all. In 2025, new discoveries have deepened our understanding of this planet's origins, its dynamic systems, and its place in the broader tapestry of the universe. Earth's story begins not with water, but with fire. Recent research from the University of Bern has revealed that the proto-Earth, formed within three million years of the solar system's birth, was a dry, inhospitable rock devoid of the volatile elements necessary for life. The gas dust cloud from which the planets emerged was rich in hydrogen, carbon, and sulfur. But the inner solar system, scorched by the young sun, could not retain these elements. It was only through a colossal collision with a planetary body named Theia that Earth received its life-giving cargo, water, carbon compounds, and the seeds of habitability. This revelation reframes our understanding of planetary formation, suggesting that Earth's capacity to support life was not inevitable, but the result of cosmic chance. Theia's impact did more than deliver water. It also birthed the moon. The debris from this collision coalesced into our lunar companion, stabilizing Earth's axial tilt and moderating its climate. The moon's gravitational pull orchestrates the tides, which in turn shape coastal ecosystems and influence oceanic circulation. Without the moon, Earth's climate might have been chaotic, its seasons erratic, and its biosphere less stable. Thus, the moon is not merely a satellite. It is a co-author of Earth's story. As Earth matured, its surface transformed through the relentless churn of plate tectonics. The lithosphere fractured into vast plates that drift atop the semi-fluid asthenosphere, colliding, diverging, and subducting in a geological ballet. These movements sculpt mountains, open oceans, and trigger earthquakes. They also recycle carbon through the deep Earth, regulating atmospheric composition over eons. The Himalayas, Andes, and Rift Valleys are monuments to this tectonic dynamism, each bearing witness to the planet's restless spirit. Beneath the crust, lies the mantle, a realm of slow convection and hidden heat. Deeper still, the outer core, a swirling sea of molten iron, generates Earth's magnetic field, shielding life from cosmic radiation and guiding migratory species. At the center, the solid inner core pulses with seismic echoes, its growth a record of planetary cooling. In 2023, seismic studies revealed that the inner core may rotate at a slightly different rate than the mantle, a phenomenon that could influence magnetic reversal and long-term climate patterns. Earth's atmosphere, a delicate blend of nitrogen, oxygen, and trace gases, is both a cradle and a shield. It filters solar radiation, traps heat through the greenhouse effect, and enables respiration, yet it is also vulnerable. Human activity has altered its chemistry, raising carbon dioxide levels, and warming the planet. Climate change is not a distant threat. It is a present reality, manifesting in rising seas, shifting biomes, and intensifying storms. The Arctic melts, the Amazon burns, and coral reefs bleach, signaling a planetary fever. Still, Earth adapts. Its biosphere is a tapestry of resilience, woven from the threads of evolution. From extreme ophiles and volcanic vents to fungi and Antarctic ice, life finds a way. The Cambrian explosion, 540 million years ago, unleashed a riot of forms, trilobites, mollusks, and the ancestors of vertebrates. The Permian extinction, 250 million years ago, erased 90% of marine species. Yet, life rebounded. Dinosaurs ruled for 160 million years before yielding to mammals. Homo sapiens emerged just 300,000 years ago, a blink in geological time, yet our impact rivals that of any extinction event. In 2025, Earth's uniqueness is underscored by the discovery of over 6,000 exoplanets. NASA's catalog reveals lava worlds, gas giants, and water-rich planets, but none quite like Earth. Some exoplanets orbit stars, others drift alone. Rogue planets like SIMP-0136, which exhibits auroras and silicate clouds despite lacking a sun. These findings expand our understanding of planetary diversity, but also highlight Earth's rarity. Its stable orbit, magnetic shield, and liquid water are not universal traits. They're gifts. Asteroids, 
2. Remind us of Earth's vulnerability. On October 3, 2025, NASA tracked asteroid 2025 TC, a 44-foot rock passing within 53,000 miles of Earth. Though harmless, its approach underscores the need for vigilance. The dinosaurs fell to an impactor. Humanity must not. Agencies worldwide are developing planetary defense strategies, from kinetic impactors to gravity tractors, ensuring that Earth's story continues. Meanwhile, rogue planet Cha 1107, 7626, 620 light years away, has astonished astronomers with a record breaking growth spurt, accreting 6 billion tons of gas and dust per second. Its infancy mirrors that of stars, suggesting that some planetary mass objects form independently, not as satellites, but as solitary wanderers. This challenges our definitions and deepens our appreciation for Earth's place in the cosmic hierarchy. Earth's oceans, covering 71% of its surface, are its lifeblood. They regulate climate, absorb carbon, and host myriad species. The deep sea, once thought barren, teems with life bioluminescent fish, giant squid, and microbial mats. Hydrothermal vents spew minerals, nurturing ecosystems that defy sunlight. In 2025, submersible expeditions uncovered new species near the Mariana Trench, including translucent crustaceans and heat-resistant worms, expanding our understanding of life's boundaries. The cryosphere, Earth's frozen realm, is equally vital. Glaciers store fresh water, polar ice reflects sunlight, and permafrost locks away carbon. Yet warming threatens these systems. Greenland's ice sheet is melting faster than predicted, raising sea levels and altering ocean currents. Antarctica, once stable, now shows signs of destabilization. The consequences ripple globally, affecting weather, agriculture, and migration. Earth's forests, lungs of the planet, are under siege. Deforestation in the Amazon, Congo, and Southeast Asia accelerates carbon emissions and erodes biodiversity. Yet reforestation efforts offer hope. In 2025, satellite data revealed that global tree cover has increased slightly thanks to initiatives in China, India, and Africa. These green corridors reconnect habitats and sequester carbon, demonstrating that healing is possible. Humanity's relationship with Earth is complex. We are stewards exploiters and beneficiaries. Our technologies shape landscapes, our cultures interpret nature, and our economies depend on resources. Yet we are also vulnerable. Pandemics, droughts, and disasters remind us that Earth is not merely a backdrop. It is a living system with limits. Sustainability is not a choice, it is a necessity. Earth is not merely a physical entity. It is a canvas upon which civilizations have painted their dreams, fears, and cosmologies. Long before telescopes revealed its curvature or satellites traced its weather systems, Earth was a mythic being. Gaia to the Greeks, Terra to the Romans, Pachamama to the Andean peoples. These names were not scientific labels, but sacred invocations, expressions of reverence for the soil that fed, the rivers that quenched, and the skies that warned. Earth was and is mother, judge, and sanctuary a living presence woven into ritual, story, and song. In ancient Mesopotamia, the earth was personified as Kai, consort to the sky god Anu. Their union birthed the pantheon and the world itself. In Hindu cosmology, Bhumi Devi is the earth goddess, seated upon a lotus and bearing the weight of Dharma. The Norse envisioned Yurd, a giantess, and mother of Thor as the embodiment of the land. These mythologies did not merely describe earth. They enacted a relationship with it, one of reciprocity and awe. The symbolic power of Earth extends into architecture and urban planning. The ziggurats of Babylon, the pyramids of Egypt, and the mounds of Cahokia were not just monuments, they were cosmograms, attempts to align human life with celestial and terrestrial forces. The cardinal directions, solstices, and equinoxes were embedded in stone, encoding Earth's rhythms into the built environment. Even today, Feng Shui and Vastu Shastra guide spatial arrangements based on elemental balance and geomagnetic flow. In 2025, the symbolic resonance of Earth has deepened through art, activism, and technology. Indigenous movements worldwide assert Earth rights, demanding legal personhood for rivers, forests, and mountains. New Zealand's Wanganui River, Colombia's Atrato River, and, and India's Ganges have been granted legal status, allowing communities to defend them in court. These shifts reflect a growing recognition that Earth is not property, it is kin. Digital media has also transformed our perception of Earth. 
Satellite imagery, virtual reality, and AI-generated simulations allow us to witness planetary processes in real time. We can watch hurricanes form, glaciers retreat, and phytoplankton bloom from thousands of miles away. This omniscient gaze, once reserved for gods, now belongs to humanity, yet it comes with responsibility. The power to see must be matched by the will to act. The Anthropocene, a term coined to describe the current geological epoch dominated by human activity, marks a turning point in Earth's narrative. Our species has become a geological force, altering sediment layers, atmospheric chemistry, and extinction rates. Plastics, nuclear isotopes, and concrete will be our fossils. The question is not whether Earth will survive, it will. The question is whether it will remain hospitable to us. In response, new philosophical movements have emerged. Deep ecology calls for a radical shift in consciousness, valuing ecosystems intrinsically rather than instrumentally. Ecofeminism links environmental degradation to patriarchal exploitation, advocating for relational ethics and care. Posthumanism challenges the centrality of humans altogether, proposing a multi-species perspective where Earth is shared, not owned. These ideas are not abstract. They shape policy, education, and design. Regenerative agriculture, biomimicry, and circular economies seek to harmonize human systems with Earth's cycles. Cities like Amsterdam, Copenhagen, and Singapore are pioneering green infrastructure, from rooftop forests to algae-powered buildings. In 2029, the European Space Agency plans to launch the Harmony satellites, capable of measuring land deformation and vegetation health with unprecedented precision, aiding conservation and disaster response. Earth's symbolic power also manifests in literature and film. From Tolkien's Middle Earth to Cameron's Pandora, fictional worlds reflect our hopes and anxieties about the real one. Climate fiction, cli-fi, explores futures shaped by warming, migration, and adaptation. Works like Kim Stanley Robinson's Ministry for the Future and N.K. Jemisin's Broken Earth Trilogy blend science with myth, urging readers to reimagine their relationship with the planet. Music, too, channels Earth's voice. Composers like Gustav Mahler, John Luther Adams, and Ryuichi Sakamoto have crafted symphonies inspired by landscapes, seasons, and seismic events. Indigenous chants, folk ballads, and protest anthems echo Earth's rhythms, from the heartbeat of drums to the whisper of wind instruments. In 2025, AI-generated compositions based on seismic data and ocean currents are being used to raise awareness and evoke empathy. Earth is not static. It is a storyteller. Its strata record epochs, its ice cores archive atmospheres, its fossils narrate evolution. Each rock, ripple, and root is a sentence in a planetary autobiography. As we decode these texts, we learn not only about Earth, but about ourselves, our origins, our impact, our potential. As we peer into the future of planet Earth, we find ourselves at a crossroads between preservation and transformation, humility and ambition. The planet that birthed us is no longer just a home. It is a laboratory, a proving ground, and a mirror for our aspirations. Scientific advances in 2025 have opened new windows into Earth's systems and hinted at possibilities once confined to science fiction. Yet with these revelations come profound ethical questions. What does it mean to care for a planet? Can we alter Earth without losing its essence? And how do we compare our world to others in the cosmos? One of the most striking developments in recent years is the rise of Earth system modeling, powered by quantum computing and AI. These models simulate interactions between atmosphere, biosphere, cryosphere, and human activity with unprecedented resolution. In 2025, the EarthScope Quantum Initiative unveiled a simulation capable of predicting regional climate shifts decades in advance, integrating satellite data, soil chemistry, and urban heat dynamics. This tool is already informing agricultural planning in sub-Saharan Africa and coastal resilience strategies in Southeast Asia. It's not just prediction, it's planetary foresight. Meanwhile, the field of geoengineering has moved from theory to cautious experimentation. Stratospheric aerosol injection, once controversial, 
is now being tested in micro-scale trials over the Arctic to reflect solar radiation and slow ice melt. Marine cloud brightening and ocean alkalinity enhancement are also under review. These interventions are not panaceas. They carry risks of ecological disruption and geopolitical tension, but they reflect a growing urgency. Earth's climate trajectory may require not just mitigation, but active modulation. Terraforming, once reserved for Mars in fiction, has found echoes in Earth's own restoration. Rewilding projects in Europe and North America aim to reintroduce keystone species, wolves, bison, beavers, to restore ecological balance. By the year 2028, the Colossal Biosciences Company plans to successfully clone a hybrid mammoth elephant embryo, not for spectacle, but to revive tundra ecosystems that sequester carbon. These efforts blur the line between conservation and creation, raising questions about authenticity, agency, and the limits of intervention. Space exploration has also reframed Earth's uniqueness. The James Webb Space Telescope and its successors have identified exoplanets with atmospheres, oceans, and even biosignatures, yet none match Earth's complexity. The TRAPPIST-1 system, with seven Earth-sized planets, offers tantalizing possibilities, but their tidal locking and radiation exposure challenge habitability. Carl Sagan's pale blue dot remains a poetic anchor, reminding us that Earth is both infinitesimal and invaluable. The overview effect experienced by astronauts describes a cognitive shift upon seeing Earth from space, a sense of unity, fragility, and stewardship. Virtual reality platforms now simulate this effect for millions, fostering planetary empathy and ecological awareness. Yet empathy must translate into ethics. The rise of planetary ethics, a field blending philosophy, law, and ecology, asks us to consider Earth not as a resource, but as a subject. Should rivers have rights? Should ecosystems be represented in governance? The Earth Charter, drafted decades ago, is being revisited in light of climate justice, indigenous sovereignty, and intergenerational equity. In Ecuador and Bolivia, Earth rights are enshrined in constitutions. The UN has debated a global pact for the environment, which would codify planetary stewardship as a legal obligation. Technology, too, is evolving towards symbiosis. Bio-integrated sensors monitor soil health, wearable devices track personal carbon footprints, and smart grids optimize energy use based on weather patterns. The city of Kigali launched a pilot program where AI managed urban farms adjust crop cycles based on satellite data and community needs. These systems are not just efficient, they are adaptive, learning from Earth's rhythms rather than imposing upon them. Culturally, Earth is being reimagined through indigenous futurism, eco-spirituality, and planetary art. Artists like Refik Anadol use climate data to create immersive installations that evoke Earth's pulse. Writers blend myth and science to craft narratives of healing and resilience. Earth is not static, it is becoming. It is shaped by tectonics and tides, but also by stories, choices, and dreams. As we stand on this threshold, we must ask not only what Earth is, but what it could be, and who we must become to honor it. Thanks for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. How about hitting the like and subscribe button to be notified when we upload more videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.